being evaluated in different, under different conditions. The total power of the two diodes is just Vd times n. Okay? Okay, we have this power dissipated over here. What about the power dissipated by the by the transport, by the MS transistor? Lost by the MS transistor, you know by now that uh, we have to choose uh, from what uh, we, have, we want to lose. So. We have to lose as much voltage as we want to drop from the switch, standard stuff, but how much is the voltage? The power dissipated by uh, an MS transistor during the switch mode from the There are two components. VDS times uh, IO. And there is uh, the conduction, current, and uh, conduction power and switching power. Loss, switching losses. So we have P conduction plus P switch. P conduction equals well resistance. How much power does a, a resistance dissipate? RBS on Hot or cold? Better. Hot because it's working and it's working. It's on. Times I switch RMS switch RMS square. Do you use the minimum or maximum uh, RMS cup? Maximum RMS cup and that means. Maximum design. And this switch, the switching losses are given by the switching frequency divided by 2, divided by 2 because those are triangular waveforms. And then we have to add two terms one due to the term on and one due to the third off. The I switch carbon is something like this. Let's call it I minimum and this I max. Those are a little bit less and a little bit more than I not moved to the primary side. There is also on top of this Waveform, there is indeed inside this waveform, there is also the magnetizing current, but you know it's not a big deal, you can neglect it most of the time. Do you remember what is here designed? So there is something like V There was a V1 times I1 times T O. That means the voltage that is on the transistor before it closes, multiplied by the current that flows to the transistor after it is closed, multiplied by the T on time, plus we call it V1 and I1 because uh, they have so many names and depends on the circuit. It's, I mean, I think it's easier like this. Plus the same expression, this time with the voltage, we call it V2, I think. V2 is the voltage that is across the switch after we open the switch, multiplied by the current V2 that the switch was carried before opening it, multiplied by T off. Oh, this is a power, this is an energy, and this is a power energy. That's okay. That is a very generic uh, formula. It works all the times. We have to decide how much are the terms of a pair. Switching frequency over 2 times how much is V1? How much is the voltage across the switch before it closes? 
look at the schematics and uh, use your brain. Mm. 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 Then, why? Because, because, it's open. because, because it's open, okay. And NT on uh, NT is equal to 1, more or less, you say, so the reflective voltage is. Uh, How much is the reflective voltage? Zero. Zero. Why? That's that. Exactly. Zero. Why? And here. Because of the light issue. E2, yes. It's not enough. Because we are in the, uh, in the, in the start of the cycle. The, the cycle, so the energy on the, the yes. coil is discharged. Yes. We start the cycle, and when we start the cycle, this core has been discharged. It has released all this and all its energy. Uh, this small flyback is working in TCM. So when we close the switch, there is no voltage over here anymore. The, the core is empty, no more energy in it. There are no current flowing, no voltage, no voltage drops. And so this is just V in times I minimum primary. I minimum. This I minimum is a little bit less than I know to multiply times n s over t times t on plus. What happens when I open the switch? How much is the voltage after I open the, the switch? I close the switch that Two times the uh, the voltage across the switch. Over here is equal to V in plus the reflected voltage across the, the primary winding, and this reflected voltage comes from tertiary winding plus the spike. The spike is not too large if you wind together the primary and tertiary, but there is some spike. So we have V in. That multiplies 1 plus NP over NT, that is 1, usually, so 1 plus 1 is 2. Plus this spike, if you want to consider it, multiplied by how much was the current that the switch was uh, conducting before? I primary max, that is a little bit more than the output the current move to the primary side because there is the ripple on top of it, times P of. And you see we are in CCM, so both terms are there, both T on and T off, but T off is quite larger than T off. Because the current is almost the same. I max, I mean yes, there is some ripple, but it's not too much. But this is more than twice this way. In the MIS, with MIS transistors, T off is not too long in any way. Uh, T off, by the way, is longer than T on because T on, the voltage has to come down from V to zero. With T off, the voltage has to go up from zero to two times V plus something. But uh, for MRS transition, the off is fast enough that we don't uh, worry too much about this power. We have to calculate it, we have to consider it, but it usually it's not a big deal. With the bipolar transistor, the third off time for a bipolar transistor is huge. It's long. And there were auxiliary circuits placed around this uh, switch, there was a diode uh, capacitor transistor in order to decrease the power dissipated by the transistor moving the off. Those are called the turn off snappers. We want to deal with them because we are the most basic transistors. Okay, last. Are we done? What else do we have to evaluate for a design like this? Transformer. Uh, we 
for the Tosfana. We gave uh, current, LMS current, prime and secondary windings. We gave uh, turn ratios. That's it. You can do. We gave voltages. We have the voltage across the primary, voltage across the secondary windings. We gave the times, how long is the duty cycle, maximum duty cycle, and we can do anything more than this. The next step will be taking the magnetic design. Not in this case, unfortunately. RS. RS? Oh, yes, RS is. Like any resistance, it's just the ratio of voltage divided by current. Rs is equal to voltage, one volt, if we use a, a one volt standard uh, IC controller, divided by, divided by what? One volt. One volt is already uh, divided by I max on the primary side. That means the I max on the secondary side move to the primary side and if you want to add the um, uh, magnetizing current be my guest. We get a number, we have to normalize this number, we have to normalize this value. Do we go up or down? Up. Down. down. We get here 0.27 ohms. 0.25 ohms. Do, do we go up to 27? Or we, do we go down to 0.22? Down. Down. down because we want to be able to guarantee the current on the arm. Yes. And the power dissipated by this is equal to RMS uh, current to the switch times R squared times uh, RS. Okay. If this power, this dissipated power becomes to be quite large, if this uh, resistance will dissipate too much power, you can use a current to spoil. Do you need uh, a compensation rate if you go in current mode? Do you have subharmonic instability with this circuit? Uh, We don't have some harmonic uh, instability problems because the duty cycle of this circuit is 0.4 steady state, 0.5 range, and the uh, harmonic instability occurs when the duty cycle is larger than 0.5. So, no subharmonic instability problems. And remember, the magnetizing current, magnetizing current uh, is just a ramp added on top of the primary current is uh, acting like, like a very small uh, compensation ramp. It's not enough. You cannot use it as a compensation ramp uh, to add it, but it's, uh, it helps. Okay, are we done? Fixed, but we don't know what it is because uh, it's a very 
variable uh, and the one that are in paralytic uh, value. And it depends on the temperature, it depends on the age of the capacitor. If the temperature goes down, let's say negative uh, 40 Celsius, degrees Celsius, uh, the SR goes up because the electrolyte uh, starts to freeze. Come to conjugate poles. What frequency? One over. This is about this small the buck the CCM. No. 2 pi square root of S. Fixed or moving? Their frequency is fixed. Their uh, position, the S plane, changes with the load because uh, they have constant frequency but varying the, the uh, position, the Q factor. Mm -hmm. So in uh, the S plane, these two complex conjugate poles are pair, but when you load, you change the load resistance, uh, they move around the circle, they stay at the same distance mm -hmm. from the origin, same frequency, but they change the real part and the imaginary part. The quality moments, two complex conjugate poles is now. DC gain. How much is the DC gain for a buck to work? What's V? Buck converter has a gain this way in. Ah, wait a moment. What is the actual? Input voltage to our buck converter, this buck converter. What is the input voltage over here? Is it weighing? No, it's weighing multiplied by the ratio of S or B. So this guy is weighing times and S of and P. And if we wanted to include in this graph the gain of modulator. One over the triangle. One over the triangle. So this is the triangle times an S over the P. What's the worst case for stability? When the gain moves up. When the gain moves uh, as much as possible, as high as possible, we moves up as much as possible. That means we mass. mass. Something new? No, same story. All these factor changes. Current mode is more interesting. We determine an SLMP in the worst the critical condition that is D max and the and minimum. This is an SLMP and it's best one. Is that actual? Yeah. Okay, this is the voltage mode. Current mode. Current mode, again, is something like this. We have a zero, this frequency, this is the magnitude of uh, the control function. 
This is uh, 1 over 2 pi ESR times C naught. This all is, what is the frequency for a block converter? R is one over because with the average with the two pi C C R uh, the log the resistance R load and C not and R load. Okay. How much was the gain for a here? For a button? No, no, for a buck of us. because the uh, current mode uh, control has basically intrinsically zero audio susceptibility. So we cannot be there.
But we not over here. The last is the good. Uh, and remember, if you consider that your converter can have a, a voltage divider inside it or a uh, an amplifier, you have to, to multiply these denominator by three. That means that your actual band will be three times smaller, lower than what you expect. Okay, the RS obviously is not one volt, it's a slightly less than one volt because you went down with the RS value. And uh, this VRS uh, is when you have the maximum amount, so the minimum amount. Okay, so far so good. So you, this afternoon, check your, double check your design, this afternoon you will have to mount on the lab just the component for your compensation, there is a socket for it on the board and see what happens. Let's see if we can file, set on file some boards or not.